Natalia Poklinskaya, known as Nash Miash, currently serves as the prosecutor of the Republic of Crimea. After her appointment, she gained popularity in Russia. Despite her unknown previous biography, people respect her. Even during her previous service, she was known for her principled and honest positions and her unwavering stance against corrupt officials and bandits. Her safety was compromised, and there were attempts on the life of the young prosecutor, yet it did not affect her stance on crime. Following the 2014 clue d'etat, Poklinskaya resigned from the civil service due to her opposition to the unlawful regime. Surprisingly, in March 2014, she was offered the position of chief prosecutor in the new region of the Russian Federation Crimea. Despite the status as general, this position meant several career steps for a senior prosecutor in the state prosecution department. Despite all male candidates refusing the position, Poklinskaya accepted. While previously unnoticed by the public and her work, the new position brought her into the public eye. Her appearance on screens made her very popular, and not just among American viewers. The Japanese quickly made anime and comics about Natalia, and her fans formed clubs in her honor. They called her a nyasha, which she disliked. Natalia stated, I'm the prosecutor here, and I won't tolerate nyashas, mashas, or similar names. Later, she changed her mind and wanted to register the trademark Nash Miash to, to her husband's advice. In the prosecutor's office in Crimea, Poklinskaya accomplished many useful tasks. However, rumors quickly spread that the prosecutor was trying to disrupt secret processes and agreements between the ruling elites of the Republic of Crimea and the interests of Ukraine. The integration of the peninsula into the new political and economic space occurred gradually, and the Kremlin did not hurry it. It was even more challenging to sever the close corrupt ties between power holders and businesses in Crimea and the non-Lithuanian country. It was decided to send Natalia Poklinskaya to another honorable position, where she would not be able to influence the surrounding processes. In the elections to the State Duma, her name was included in the list of the United Russia Party, so Poklinskaya became a deputy of the State Duma. At the peak of popularity, Natalia Poklinskaya in October 2016 was appointed to the post of head of the Commission on Control over the Income of Deputies, but in September 2018 she was the only one from the faction of the United Russia Party who voted against pension reform, and she lost her position. The Commission was disbanded. Natalia was obstructed in the faction. They offered to give up her deputy mandate altogether, but she refused, because she believed that she had to do good for the people. While still being the head of the committee, she realized that deputies' incomes were not clean. For example, a number of deputies of the United Russia Party and the Just Russia Party had bank accounts and real estate abroad and corrupt connections that allowed them to participate in fraud. But all her demands proved fruitless, and bills to counter corruption among state Duma deputies were stalled by committees. In November 2018, Poklinskaya said, I would be happy if my proposals got support from my colleagues in the faction, but they are not being supported. People know Poklinskaya as a difficult and unsettled deputy in the parliament. After she requested that the movie Matilda be banned because it tarnished Nicholas II's image, Natalia was considered eccentric. On October 13, 2021, Natalia Poklinskaya was made an ambassador of the Russian Federation to Cape Verde by Russian President Putin's decree. She received a diplomatic rank. The decision was reversed in February 2022. Later, she was chosen as the deputy head of Rosso Trudnichestvo. On June 14, 2022, Natalia Poklinskaya posted on her personal social media page, Today, I have been appointed as an advisor to the Prosecutor General of the Russian Federation, Igor Viktorovich Krasmov. I thank everyone in advance for their support and interest in my service. Going forward, I will not maintain any social media accounts or participate in public activities. My focus will be on completing the tasks given to me by the Prosecutor General of Russia, in accordance with the federal law on the Prosecutor's Office of the Russian Federation. Natalia Poklinskaya is back at her old job in the Prosecutor's Office, where she can be helpful once more. Best of luck to her.